Microsoft Excel, like the other applications in the Office Suite, has a ribbon interface. The ribbon appears here across the top of the screen, and it can be displayed and hidden using this button here. You can auto-hide the ribbon, show just tabs, or as we're seeing here, tabs and commands. Let's click this. This is what it looks like when you're showing tabs, and you can re-display everything by clicking Show Tabs and Commands. You might hide the ribbon if you don't need to use it for a period of time, and if you want more free space for working on your worksheet. The ribbon itself is divided into tabs. Click on a tab to disclose the options on that tab. On each tab, the items are grouped together by function, and a group name appears below the buttons in each of these groups. On the Insert tab here, for example, you'll see a group called Charts that contains buttons for adding charts, and there's one for Tables that contains buttons related to pivot tables. The Filters group contains options for filtering data and so on. Some groups have small dialog launch icons in their bottom right corner. Let's return to the Home tab on the ribbon, and you'll see this icon here in the clipboard, Font, Alignment, and Number Groups. I'll click here to open the Font Dialog Launcher, and this opens the Font Dialog. This dialog contains some additional and some duplicate features for formatting fonts inside Microsoft Excel. To close a dialog without making a selection, either click Cancel or click its Close button here. As you're working in Excel with different objects such as pictures and tables of data, you'll see that some tabs come and go. Here I have a chart. I'll click the chart to select it, and the Chart Tools Design and Chart Tools Format tabs now appear. These tabs were not on the ribbon before, but they're available now because I have a chart selected, and they contain tools for working with charts. If I click away from the chart, they'll disappear. I'm no longer working with a chart, so the chart format and design tools are no longer required. In addition to the ribbon, there's a quick access toolbar here, often shortened to QAT. This shows a number of icons that are always available regardless of which tab you've selected. This quick access toolbar is customizable, so you can add other icons to it. Now when you resize the Excel window, the ribbon changes size to fit, and some items shrink to just an icon because there's not enough room to display them in full. I'm going to shrink the Excel window now, and you can see that some of these groups that used to show all the icons in the group have been shrunk down just to an icon. The items are still there, you just might have to look a little closer to find them, particularly if you're using a small screen, such as on a laptop or a tablet. When you click the down pointing arrow here, you can see all the icons that are available in that group. As we expand the Excel window, you'll see that the icons reappear, because there's room to display them. Across the foot of the screen here is the status bar. It contains some additional icons. There are some here for the way that you view the Excel screen, and here you can see that the Numbers Lock key is enabled, and I can also show the status of my Caps Lock key. If I right-click this status bar, you can see that I can choose which options appear on it. Here too are the Sheet tabs, and the highlighted one here tells us the sheet that we're working on. 